guys doing today? This is Cody Evans Official, CEO. All right, guys, you can see here, I'm finally in my Genesis. It's been fun getting to drive her again. It's been since December, uh, January, right around Christmas and New Year's, uh, last time I was able to drive this and also see my parents. I'll go ahead and post a picture on here so you guys can see what the car looks like right now. And I still have a few more things to do with her. I still have a few car parts in the back that I might try to put on myself or might just see how much it would take to have a professional put it on. What sucks is, so as you can see here, I have a splitter and part of it was cracking right on the splitter. The, the support was cracking the splitter. So I thought to mess with it and so it wasn't pulling up on that spot so much, maybe pushing down more and it was tight as i thought it was tight to my hand but apparently it wasn't tight enough i got driving picked up a little bit of speed and then it you hear it like bang down the car and well it's in the middle of the road so i'm not there's no way for me to go back for it and some of the bolts and crap like that fell off on one which sucks a lot now I have to be careful because I don't want the thing to like start flapping around. And that's one way I started to notice it. It started to flap a little bit and then bang, bang, hey, gone. So I pulled off to the side real quick, looked at it, cried on the inside. And then I had a, uh, the other side. So one side fell off, the other side came undone. So I just had to bolt it back as best as I can. And hopefully it's still on after this drive. Hopefully there's something still there. And then I have to try to order some parts for it or order a whole new set, which wasn't bad. I think it was like $25 for the pair. I got it from Amazon. If I can find it, uh, and if that company, whatever it is, is still selling it, I'll go ahead and post it here. If you don't see it, then well, maybe they're not selling it anymore. So yeah, the last couple days and then today, tomorrow, just constantly, I've been cleaning the inside because coming from Georgia, there was a whole bunch of pollen in here. So I cleaned out all the pollen and then the outside just had pollen, dirt, and bugs from the road trip of my parents bringing it up. So I've been just slowly cleaning it, kind of, and then starting to wax it. And where you, when I go to wax, I can't wax the whole car at one time because you can't do it in direct sunlight and I don't have that much time from when the sun isn't right above me to when it's too dark out. I don't have anywhere to pull it into. Hopefully you guys heard that. I did make it louder my own little special touch I did not cut off the muffler it'd be stupid loud and sound like a trash can that is not what you do to cars you do not cut off the muffler this car is also gaining popularity pretty quick uh, over on base because there's not really any other cars like it sure you have your guys with your civics or your other little four bangers Hey, it's cool. If that's what they like, that's fine. Um, except for certain people with some cars, they like to just try to make the cars as loud as they can, and it sounds like complete garbage. Everyone I talk to doesn't like that guy, doesn't think he's cool, doesn't think his car's cool, but he thinks it's the coolest thing in the world. It's compensating for something. Because every time he gets around a person or a group of people, he likes to just rev it. And it's an automatic. Some cars are automatic. Some other guys might have a manual, but still, it, it's not what you do. Sounds like trash. I know to some people, my car might sound like trash. But the people that would be saying that are people that spent a lot of money on an exhaust system. And I didn't spend much of anything. And then people with just bigger engines, V8s and this sucks because now I won't be able to really drive my car. I will have to just leave it on the side uh, just because you don't want the your splitter to be flopping around because then if it, the splitter gets any more damage on it then I would have to take it off and that would just suck and be a waste of money. 
The splitters are easy splitters. Pretty good price. I got the front one for 200 and then the side ones for 200 so total 400 or if you want carbon fiber then it would have been double the money so then $800 what I almost had done was I bought these and then almost bought carbon fiber wrap and just had it done with that but I didn't because it would have been more work for me or my dad now I can thank my dad and my brother for putting the splitters on because they said that was a real pain in the butt so now I decided to just park right out here on base, but away from all the other student parking so I can wax it alone. And because the last couple days when I've been waxing or cleaning the car, people come up to me and say, oh yeah, cool car, compliment on the car, which is fine, I like it. But then like, sometimes you just don't wanna be around people. But yeah, this car has been fun, tearing it up around town, around town, base. The car shows itself off. So these other guys try to show off their cars and then especially around me and then it's like nah there's nothing to show off in your car not around here other guys might be complimenting or gawking at this car and then they'll look at that guy and then like come back looking at me and come back looking at my car and then i get like random compliments in the barracks or the school so it's like that's all cool i guess that's the whole purpose of it the splitters were for performance for more downforce reasons so it stays like a bullet if you're going fast. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Facebook. And don't forget to check out my other videos. I try to post two to three times a week. This is Cody M's official, CEO, over and out.